this video, I'm going to give you my top tips for surviving Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show 2019. Hi, my name's Chantelle and I'm from Fibrific. At Fibrific, we sell hooks, needles, yarns, fibres, everything you need for your yarn craft adventures. My top tips for Bendigo 2019, because that's what you're here for. My very first tip is be organised. I know that sounds so boring. It sounds so boring. It is boring being organised. But if you know where you're going, where you're parking, how much you can carry, it's going to make life so much simpler for you on the day when you're meeting up with friends, all those sorts of things. There's lots of great ways that you can sort this out through various apps or even just I'll meet you at the front gate and work out what you all mean by the front gate because there's two. Number two is research. Double check that your favourite sellers are actually attending the event. While the Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show is the biggest wool show in Australia, not everybody can get a stall. So sometimes our favourites just aren't there. So double check that who you want are there. And then once you've worked out who is there, then you can start making little wish lists. FYI, I'm going to be there. Find out where they are in the actual showgrounds. Work out, do they allow a Bendigo pre-order? That way you can make sure that anything you absolutely don't want to forget, you can actually pre-order it and they'll have it there in a little bag for you ready to go. But also, don't forget to pick up your pre-orders. The Woolcraft Ravelry Group, which will give you a list of all the smaller vendors who actually exhibit under the Woolcraft banner, like Fibrific does. Tip number three, pick a project and plan it. Each year I plan a Bendy project, that's what I call it. I'm an Australian, we abbreviate everything. Bendigo becomes Bendy. So therefore I have my Bendy project and I pick the pattern, what I'm gonna make it with, which stall holder I'm gonna to go to to go and get my supplies. I have it all written down in my phone and on a piece of paper just in case my phone battery dies because that does happen. With my Bendy project, I make sure that all the supplies come from other dyers and other exhibitors at the Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show. I can get my stuff any time of the year, but I can't get theirs. So I wanna make sure I've got what I want all planned out and listed just in case I decide to go off script. The other thing that you can do is plan a Bendy project with a group of friends. If you go to Bendigo every year with the same group of friends, you guys can all band together, pick a project, all hit various stalls and then next year turn up in the same sweater made with beautiful yarns that you bought from the year before. My tip number four is a boring tip. It's very boring. Hydrate. You need to hydrate at these events. It's freezing cold and we forget that our bodies still require fluids. Now preferably your body still wants water so bring a water bottle it's so cold. This could just be because I'm a Queenslander and anything under 10 degrees is why do people live their temperatures? And Bendigo is well under 10 degrees. So make sure that you've got your way to hydrate. If it's a thermos of tea, I have that. If it's a bottle of water, I also have that, but I tend to drink the tea because I'm cold. But make sure that you hydrate. Number five, make a wish list. Now I know that one of the earlier tips was be prepared and make a list, but this is the wish list. This is the things that you don't actually need, but you really, really want. And if it happens to be a Bendigo, it might fall in your bag. Make that list because you don't want to get there, realize, oh my God, I love these pudding balls and realize you don't have the cash or the luggage space to carry them home. FYI, I'm getting pudding balls. I'm also getting 200 grams of Beersheba Duchess, if she's got it, and my traditional Bendigo treat that I buy myself every year is a new support spindle. I'm going to hit Lair of the Bearded Dragon for one of their gorgeous support spindles and maybe a bowl. <coughs> I like that. <laughs> that was actually really natural. <laughs> it wasn't like a cough cough. It was like a, yeah, that was good. Number six, layer layer your clothing. Those of you that live down in Victoria and Bendigo, you guys know this. You don't need me to tell you. But if you're coming down from Queensland or a warmer climate, going down to Bendigo, it's a really unusual weather scenario because you're going in and out of buildings and inside some of the buildings is really toasty warm. 
then you're outside in the sun, which is still quite nice. But then you'll go into other buildings, like the building I'm in, and it's freezing. There's no heating. It's just paver floor in a tin shed. So you're going to be going in and out of all these buildings. You don't want to be having to sort your layers out with your bags and finding jumpers or finding a beanie. You want to have everything really handy. So pre-plan what you're wearing to make it so that you can maneuver through the day easier. Also, if it's raining at Bendigo, waterproof shoes are a must. Some way, waterproof, and don't wear your favorite shoes. Wear something that you don't care if it has to go in a washing machine. Some areas get a bit mucky and you don't want to wreck your favorite pair of boots. If you're planning on coming down to the Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show for 2019, make sure you come and say hi at the Fibro Fix stall. We're down in the flower shed, which is right down the back corner. So pop in and say hi. And who knows, we may even be organizing a little dinner meetup for Saturday night. See you at Bendigo.